Hi, Cliff here with Next Level Scuba. And today I'm gonna to give you guys a video tour of the Lungfish Closed Circuit Rebreather. So, this is the unit. Uh, it is made in England, custom ordered uh, for each person that orders it. So I just got mine in last week and just finished my training on it. Uh, I had a hard time finding information about it online that got into specifics about the unit, so that's why I'm making this video. So let's take a look at it. As you can see, it's fairly compact. The scrubber, the electronics head, and the counter lungs are all contained within this back compartment. Look at the front. You'll see it has an adjustable harness here that is attached to a horseshoe shaped bladder. It has traditional low pressure inflator on the left side here. don't have them attached right now, but it's designed to take a two or three liter cylinder along each side, right there. So your diluent cylinder would be over here on what would be your left side. The regulators for the diluent are down here at the bottom. Uh, you can see it's going to have one high pressure hose that goes to your pressure gauge. Uh, then there is an intermediate pressure hose that's going to feed your manual addition valve. And the third hose comes up alongside the rebreather. And at the top section here, you can see this piece. This is fed from the diluent bottle. This is your ADV valve. And then also off that same line, your low pressure inflator is also attached. On the right side where your oxygen bottle would be, have a regulator that again has a high pressure hose. Uh, one intermediate pressure hose to feed the solenoid, which routes up under here into this unit, and then the other intermediate pressure hose to feed the manual addition valve for your oxygen. So, if we turn around and check out the front side, you can see that the high pressure hose for the pressure gauge and the manual addition valve, it's a button right here, feeds up along the side. It's left so you can rig it however you would like. Uh, I tried it tucked under the waist belt and then also rigged up along the shoulder strap here. I'm still kind of playing with how I want to set it up. But diluent on the left side, oxygen on the right side. So let's take a look at what's inside of this thing. So this top portion will Velcro off or open up like so. And that exposes, first we have the scrubber and electronics head. So it's a nice compact axial scrubber. And I will show you the inside of that in just a second. First step to taking this apart, is gonna to be to take the electronics head off. So to do that, there are two screws, one here and one here. So I'm gonna unbolt that. And once it's loose, it just lifts off, and we'll set that aside. There we go. And now that it's opened up, you can also see the attachments for the manual addition valves and also the oxygen solenoid. So the oxygen solenoid is inside this electronics head and attached to this hose. So now we have the scrubber here. It is attached directly on top of the counter lungs, and there's a clip that just pulls out. It's just a plastic U-shaped clip, which holds the scrubber attached to the counter lungs. So I'm gonna disconnect the manual addition valve, feeds right here, and we'll pull the scrubber off. So now the scrubber will just snap off from those counter lungs. And I'll set that aside for now. All right, inside here now you can see the counter lungs. So the lungfish uses a right to left feed for the gas. So we have our exhalation counter lung here on the left side. The air moves through it, up through the scrubber. The gas is added there, and then it's back down to the inhalation side counter lung, which is on your right side. So to remove those, first, we have to unscrew 
the breathing loop. It's simple unscrew on each side and then just pull straight out. So I will take that off. And set these loop hoses aside for now. Before we remove the counter lungs, we also have to remove the ADV valve, which is still attached in the top. So that feeds down into the inhalation side counter lung. And there's a little button inside that you press to pull it off. Now it's free, and we can actually remove this counter lung. So there it is, inhalation side counter lung. And the exhalation side counter lung also has one more step to remove because it has an overpressure release valve that's there on the bottom. So that's similar to one that's in your BC. Just unscrews, and there we are. All right, so now let's take a look at the individual parts here a little better. So inside here you can see there's a large stainless steel back plate that everything mounts to. Also inside this top cover, a little Velcro pouch where you can put some weights. If you're using hard lead weights, you can get uh, about eight pounds in there, eight to 10 pounds, depending on how well you fit it in. And then if we follow the overpressure valve, it has a pull string that was from the factory left to be routed however you chose to. I brought mine around so that it is attached to this left hand shoulder strap, not right there. Also for attachment of cylinders, you have the option of removing the straps from the side and attaching the small cylinders to the bottom. You can see there's an area down here where straps can attach if you choose to do it that way. All right, let's set this aside and talk about the other components. Set the body down here. All right, let's take a look at the scrubber. So this is where the electronics head fits. To access the scrubber portion of this, we're going to unscrew this top knob. And you'll see this knob is sealed with two O-rings, one around here and one on the face. Now we can pull this lid off. So lid sealed with one large O-ring around the outside there. And inside. First, you're gonna have this screen. It goes on top and presses down on a sponge. This is just a thick sponge. The purpose of this is similar to summer breathers that have springs that press down on the absorbent in here. This just keeps things nice and tight once you get it packed with absorbent, which I don't have any absorbent in here right now. So that's the empty scrubber. So the airflow comes through the exhale counter lung up through this passage into the scrubber and then down where it comes out right here where the electronics head is. So let's take a look at the electronics head now. It comes with this computer. Uh, this is the controller from Lungfish. Uh, this is what you use to turn on the system and make adjustments to the system. There's also a data port you can open up here where you can plug in a computer cable and attach it to your PC if you want to make adjustments and download dive log that way. We also have in here underneath this portion, we can pull this off, this is a screen that protects the three oxygen sensors and then this fourth thing over here is actually a CO2 sensor. So that is not considered a replaceable item. That should last for a long time. The oxygen sensors need to be replaced uh, about once every year. And then the other portion you see over here, the other round spot, is a plug you can pull out 
you can actually put a fourth oxygen sensor in if you choose to. And I think the last part to talk about here is going to be the hoses and the uh, DSV. So it comes with a DSV instead of a BOV. So what that means is uh, this valve is strictly used to either open or close the breathing loop. Um, a BOV would also be able to supply you with emergency air if you needed to switch off of this breathing loop. So it's a very simple, small mouthpiece. When I was using it, um, you don't even really notice it's there. Your hoses and the mouthpiece aren't even in your peripheral vision. So very easy to turn the knob and turn it on or off. So that's the basics of the lungfish. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I will try and get back to you. Thanks for watching.